I think this is the best way to respond to um, what what do you who do you call do you call them Karens? I guess they're Karens, right? Are they Karens? They must be. So th there's obviously a spat of Karen videos floating around on the internet, right? Which essentially I don't know, describes a middle-aged white woman who has a tendency to call the authorities whenever she gets into an argument with a fellow adult or something, right? They get into some sort of physical or verbal altercation, and she kind of you know inexplicably wants to call the manager, quote unquote, or call someone in some kind of level of authority to mediate or to rule the argument in her favor. It's a very bizarre way to kind of. Um, talk to people or conduct yourself in public but americans seem to think the police are like a customer service helpline right um or like i don't know the avengers or some shit it's very very bizarre but sometimes when i watch these videos i'm like why can't they just treat these people the way they are being treated i think there's too much trying to rationalize and trying to speak to them as adults when clearly they've shown you that they're not an adult right they operate in this whole different feel the different plane you have no idea where they are because some of these clowns you don't know if they're high if they have a lack of sleep if they're just sexless if they're just angry bitter whatever you don't know what's going on in their bodies and in their minds but <clears throat> one thing is for sure they don't deserve um the benefit of doubt so sometimes i think it's best to give them the same energy back and i think this dude here this is from uh, a <clears throat> Whilst a hip hop, it says uh, the title was Black Hotel Worker Shuts Down Woman Who Called Him the N Word As She Begs for a Room, which is always a funny to me, in it like the fact that in some places, or especially more so in America, um, when you get into an argument with somebody, um, they tend to want to say the most hurtful thing to them, right? Especially if it's, I guess, if it's, it, it works mostly if the other person you're speaking to is an immigrant and you happen to be an indigenous white person in America. And you really want to hurt their feelings it seems like the only way they can go is just to go racial there's no nothing else there's no other sort of like picking at the person's insecurities taking the piss out of their trainers i don't know something it's always just straight racial whenever they feel like they're losing okay i'm gonna go to his race i'm gonna call him some derogatory term that describes where he's from it's really bizarre but i thought this guy handled it really really well i'll play it for you guys here <clears throat> That, but you called me a uh, fucking nigger. Stay here. My mother died. I understand. <laughs> the way that video starts, isn't it? <laughs> you called me an effing <laughs> N word, and then the next sentence, yeah, I understand, but my mother died. Your mother died, so you said that. It's like when um these streamers, like you know, one like my guy PewDiePie is a good example, right? He just that ten or no, the other guy is it Tifu? He did that, right? Where he's just like playing and then he just suddenly erupted and said the n-word it's so funny that that happens with some people's like you know reflex when things are going bad like instead of saying damn or sugar or whatever right they always go for the n-word that's their go-to from their back pocket it's like where were you like who raised you you know um <laughs> Stand up, but you call me a fucking I'm nigger. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. you weren't sorry when you said it on the phone. Listen, <laughs> I love his energy. So, but at the end of the day, and the climate break. that we live in today, society, I, sorry. I understand it, but it's it's above me now. I love that. That's the best way to go with these kind of things. When you get in, because I've worked service industry jobs, right? I've had to deal with really, really shitty, horrible customers who just are entitled and. Um, unreasonable and just complete cunts, right? They're just the worst of the worst, especially during like sale season, right? Especially during Boxing Day sales and stuff. It's just the whole, most horriblest people you can meet. And usually it's the people that try to appear the most reasonable are usually the most um, rude. So sometimes you think, you feel as if you need to give them the respect that they that their age sort of like requires you to give them then slowly but surely you get into conversation you realize hold on this this person's a fucking fool um and then they try and get into back and forth with you and the best way to do it is just to kind of you know um especially if you've had if your manager's got your back it works is essentially to say look we're just it's to kind of it's like a weird self-deprecation thing you're telling them without telling without saying anything that hey i'm just a I'm just a random dude that works in a retail shop. I make five pound an hour. No one gives a shit about me. But unfortunately, I can't help you because this is above me. The person that is actually calling the shots is not even doesn't even know I exist. You know what I mean? That kind of a, that kind of a, a line, and it kind of shuts them up for the most part. Because what else can they do? Because they're, they're demonstrating to you that they don't respect you as a worker, 
and you're saying okay i receive your energy and i'm also telling you i don't respect myself because i can't help you <laughs> i need a room tonight well there's the best restaurant next door oh please let me hear my daughter's here i'm sorry but nope i was nope. on the phone when you said it I said, I'm sorry. please i've been in a, I've had a horrible and i had a horrible time when hearing that great reply and i had a horrible time oh, that man. It's, it's above me she called me a fucking nigger you know what i love this exchange because she tried to she tried to get like an ally you know these karens love doing that when something is egregious is happening they'll either start recording just as they're being a, just as they've stopped being a cunt or they'll try and get some sort of you know compassion from strangers in the street like they're making noise like oh, oh my god and the woman asks, oh well, hey what's going on she, look it's above me she called me a fucking nigger and that, Sir, that other lady stayed completely quiet. She's like, well, I'm not getting involved in that one. Grandma, just I died. understand that, but it's above me. Let me, please. At, at the end of the day. I need a, I need, Sir, my grandma just I died. I understand that, but it's above me. Let me, please let me. It's above me. Sorry. Not, like, the best part. restaurant is next door. <laughs> Sir, the rest of our family I understand that, but it's above me. <laughs> please. I love it. I love it. I love him. And that was the best response ever that you could give to some, you know, deluded racist that thinks that, especially, forget the racism, right? Imagine you're just a dick to somebody in a shop and then you're asking them for a favor. Do you really think it's going to go your way? And then let's imagine we it, this happened. Oh, it's a racist. Uh, you know, you're insulting somebody and being a fucking racist. Imagine trying to then ask for some kind of assistance. Like, uh, what's going in through your brain? Like, what what's in there? Is there anything in there actually? <sighs> Mamma mia! Uh, I know we have another one, of course. Man loses it over a Black Lives Matter sign at a Brooklyn cafe. All I saw was this man's weird pose. First of all, right? There's this weird sort of like a <sighs> what would you call it? Is it like a is that like a better better male thing, or is that just? his sort of like sassy stance that he puts on when he's trying to be whatever so i'm assuming this guy comes to get his coffee coffee oh i said that it was so weird i assume he tries to get his coffee in the morning rocks up to the uh takeaway stand sees the black lives matter uh, sign and what somehow declares that a corporation can't or a shop can't have political messages outside or on, on their glass of their shop or something. I wonder what his actual issue is. Or is he just an all lives matter dude and he went to see another sign next to it? Because that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If they had an if they have an if they had an all lives matter sign underneath the desk that they just whipped out and put in front of the thing whenever somebody uh, opposed it, whenever they left, you just took it off again. But yeah, this is the video. And the weird thing is with it, it's like an inception, um, Karen of public freak out video the aggressor is recording the, the the clerk that's in the coffee shop and the coffee shop person is also recording him and the person filming both of them is also recording and i'm pretty sure there's somebody else out there recording as well maybe a drone shot even i don't you need to take off the sign it's offensive you need to take off the sign you are choosing to be offended so you don't have i'm not to come choosing here. to be offensive you don't need to come here. do you see I this, this? I and I so you yeah Look how he's standing as well. Who stands like that? Like, men usually with a belly that look like him would be a little bit embarrassed to have that kind of belly, right? Because usually if you've got a big belly and you're a bigger dude, it's sort of like a sign of wealth, right? Or a sign of not giving a fuckness, right? You're just, you know, it's like a... It's what I'd imagine Christian, Christian Vieri to look like. But he doesn't. He's obviously still pretty much in shape. But I'd imagine that kind of big, burly, sort of like, you know, Mark Viduka sort of style. Like, ugh, whatever. You know, that kind of peak machismo. But then when you get a guy that looks like him, right, a sort of like, you know, a skinny, waspy, um, what is he, Portuguese, Spanish sort of dude, right, that's living in New York. Um, that's obviously red, what, I don't know, that's obviously been watching too much Tucker Carson in the evening. You don't really expect him to be like like that, do you? The way he looks anyway, political views aside, just the way he looks, you wouldn't expect him to be that, you know, big belly or pot belly confident. Yeah, but don't, don't, don't take that's this not racist. I heard this whole disgusting. conversation upstairs from the Yeah, this is the most racist thing out there. I'm not a racist. Yes, yes, you, are. you are. You are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Only in America would you take time out of your day to be offended about a sign from a shop you're not even buying from. Right? It's a common thing that happens. It's like with the Karens that get scared in the park when the black guy's in there somewhere. It's like, just leave, isn't it? If you're scared, go home. What happened to running away? What happened to leaving a place that makes you feel uncomfortable? No, instead it's like, let me impose my will and my view on the world onto your... Uh, in your space and then when you get offended by it or you react negatively i'm gonna be offended by that too and we're gonna go into this infinite loop of calling each other names this video is like 11 minutes long i'm not gonna play the whole thing but 11 minutes of them going back and forth Wait, Sylvan, Anissa, Anissa, get off. i want you to take off the sign Wait, why? Why because it's offensive to, to you well maybe you can just walk the fuck away because i'm not taking you to find it no one's taking that sign look that office is saying no one's taking sign just go home look at that stance Look at that fucking stance. It's so bizarre. Why is he standing like that? He's standing like one of those um, old um, French Renaissance paintings, isn't it? Like, what is that all about? He's not getting any positive over your fear, but I, I love the fact that everything everything inside of him is telling him this is a bad look but he's still pers he's still persistent he's like no i'm gonna stand here i'm gonna i'm gonna feel this pain they're gonna they're gonna feel this pain but everything inside of him is full of his senses of firing in his body telling him run go away you're embarrassing yourself you're like a dick he's like no 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 i'm staying right here you oh, you, uh, yeah, well, she didn't talk to you, man. This, this sign caused the whole problem. No, you no, are causing, the, causing problem. the problem. No, the sign caused the you whole problem. The, problem. <laughs> the sign caused the whole problem. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, the sign caused like, the whole I'm sorry, problem. man. The There's this racist off. bitch up here. You what? need to leave because you're causing problems. The sign is causing the problem, not me. Bullshit. Man, I'd like to uh, like uh, exchange some money for like goods. Could I? Could you like get out of the way so I'm, I can do I'm, that? I'm offended by the sign. I need that, to go that's wall. great. <laughs> can I? Can I just like go to the coffee shop? Can I make sure the sign goes off? <laughs> He's still there. Look at that belly. I just can't get enough of the outfit and the belly and the stance and the stupid haircut and the way he's putting his arm on his waist and the fact that he's recording the entire thing on his what Galaxy seventy nine or some shit. Like, what is this dude's life about? Imagine leaving your apartment to do this. He's not giving her a lesson. Also, that's how it starts then. He didn't have a mask and that's why he did. He was okay, so he didn't have a mask, I'm assuming. He was refused service. Then he looks to his left and sees the Black Lives Matter sign, says something snarky. He gets in the back and forth with the coffee shop person and then they they decide to start having this phone camera off. It's so bizarre. Phone um what do you call it? Girl in the coffee shop, it couldn't they couldn't she just ignore him and just kinda of walk away until he kinda of finished doing what he's doing? I think sometimes you just gotta give these people the energy that they deserve, and treat them like children. He doesn't deserve a conversation. Just okay, okay, so once you're done, let me know so I can continue serving my customers. Just sit down, be on your phone whilst he chats away. Call your manager and let her know, hey, by the way, this guy's being crazy so you don't get in trouble. But this engaging with, the, you can't engage with psychos. You just cannot. You can't rationalize with psychopaths. No! You need to take the job. You need to take the Oh, a guy in the back's got some, the delivery guy's got some Jordan 4s, eh? bread Jordan 4s. Oh, are you zooming in on me or something? What is this? What's he doing? Same. When people make a protest, you can't buy anything. Uh, <laughs> 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 if the protesters make any problems or not. Are you done? If the protest... Hello, Ricky. I don't know what this is. Que lo que, man? What's wrong with this, you? Okay, I don't know why I'm going for this. I can't do this anymore. I, I give up. 
the guy's a fucking psychopath, man. I guess he's a psych. I don't know what's going on there. I just don't know. I really don't. I'm sorry. I tried to, you know, lighten the mood a bit from all the COVID chat. But hey, psychos are going to psycho. Um, 